the Bee Diggers sporting those maroon uniforms they'll be wearing for a while with road games on Friday, Saturday, and Monday. About to hit the court for the third quarter. And Brush in the lead over Highland, 35-18. to 18. And both head coaches now having a discussion at the scores table. Highland head coach Jim Altergott was discussing something with the two officials. And that conversation lasted a while until Brush head coach Dan Kennedy got involved. And now it's broken up. Chris Ely will throw it in for the Beat Diggers. With Omar Gomez, Jared Spooner, Tyler Ryder, and Winston Harris. It's Andrew Jackson, Joey Jackson, along with 4-0, Joe Steber, and Jacob Seaton for Highland. Beat Diggers up 35-18. to Spooner on the outside left. They close the first half on a 13-2 run. Check that, a... Uh, 12 to 2 run. There's a turnover, and Steber going for the layup puts it up and too strong. And the rebound is controlled by Joey Jackson. He misses. Winston Harris has his 10th rebound. The Diggers did commit the turnover. Spooner with the left wing three is around and short. Ball is tipped around, and Harris has a layup up and in. Harris went right back up and scored 13 points and 10 rebounds for Winston Harris. 37 to 18 B Diggers. Here's Gomez with a steal in the front court. Over to Winston Harris. Cross court to Ryder. Seventh turnover for Highland. To Ely to Ryder. Oh, he was wide open, but he threw it behind him. 14th turnover for Brush. Taken away by Andrew Jackson on the high right to 4 0 in the corner. 15 footer is well short. Winston Harris grabs his 12th rebound. Harris to Gomez. Left corner for Spooner. Brush with a 19-point cushion down low for Ryder. Foul from behind by Jacob Seaton. That's the second foul. Beat Diggers will take it out underneath. Committed to serving those in production ag. Premier Farm Credits is the gold standard in ag lending. Jared Sterkel checking into the game for the Huskies in favor of Jacob Seaton. Brush now in a 14-2 run dating back to the second quarter. Harris swings it over to Ryder. Into the lane. His hook shot is around. No good. Strong side rebound by Stever of Highland. The Huskies have been on a cold spell. They've scored just two points in the last five minutes of the game, dating back to that second quarter. The three-pointer by Stever, well off to the right. And it's the 13th rebound for Winston Harris. Harris in the left wing. Long three is up, and that's too deep. Harris has another rebound. Then jump pass to Ely. His shot is blocked down low, and the ball is taken away. Now it's loose to the floor. Initially, Andrew Jackson had it, tied up by Ryder, and there's a technical foul on Andrew Jackson who was frustrated. And let's see who will shoot the technical. With 6-12 to go in the third. Oh, what a game for Winston Harris. 13 points and 14 rebounds. I'd say he'd get to 20, but I don't think he's going to have the chance because if Brush continues to expand this lead, he'll be out of the game. And now Harris will shoot two free throws as Brush is up by a whopping 19 points. At one point, this was a 23-16 to game with over two minutes to go. In the second quarter, and the Bee Diggers have exploded since then. The Harris free throw is good. High off the back of the rim, and it went down. Second free throw for Harris. And that one is off to the left. But Brush leads by 20, 38 to 18. For great family entertainment, be sure to check out Fire Lanes at 220 Cambridge at Brush. Walk in or reserve your time at Fire Lanes today. Well, the Beat Diggers just 14 minutes and 12 seconds away from winning their fifth game of the year. And they have taken control. Ely on the outside right in the corner for Spooner. Dribbles right baseline, drives. His shot is partially blocked. Hedford, the rebound, the putback off the glass and in. Hedford out wrestled a Husky for that board. And he earned those two points. The Beat Diggers up 40 to 18. Here is 4 0 right corner for Joey Jackson. Drives right baseline. And he tried to scoop it over to a teammate. I'm not sure who, but the Beat Diggers took it away. Ely right corner for Tedford. 
Heffern has to back it out. Does top of the key to Ely. Right of the free throw line into the lane. Back out to Gomez. Gomez in the corner. Swings it inside for Tedford. On the right baseline. Spooner, 15-footer, short. And the ball is rebounded by Joe Steeper of the Huskies. Long pass to Joey Jackson. Here is Tanner Long fading from eight off the backboard. No good. Rebound Joey Jackson. Put back. He missed an easy shot. Omar Gomez with a brush rebound. Boy, that was too easy. And the beat diggers throw it away in the front court intended for Ely in the right corner. Rush with 15 turnovers, but the turnovers have not hurt them in this game. Rush now on a 17-2 run that began late in the second and has extended here to the third. Jacob Seaton back into the game. Hands it off to Stever, crossing the timeline against Omar Gomez. Stingy defense by the beat diggers. Harris nearly with a steal. Joey Jackson with the basketball. On the high right, Jackson at the top of the key. Now right wing, Tanner Long, 14-footer, well short. And guess who's got the rebound? Winston Harris, but he threw it away. End of the front court for Highland is Sturkle, 8-footer good on the left wing. For Jared Sturkle, first points for Highland in the third quarter. Took over three minutes. Ten for the other way, misses, but he fouled as he drove strong into the middle of the lane. And Zepp Tedford to the line. Sterkle commits the foul. And we've got a Highland timeout brought to you by Stubbs Gas and Oil. The Beat Diggers doubling up the Highland Huskies 40-20 to with 4.44 to go in the third. It's a 60-second break on 10-10 KSIR at KSIR.com. The Zepp Tedford free throw is good. It's 41-20. to Second one is in. Beat Diggers up 42-20. to John Beltran back with you for Maltz. And Brush has matched their biggest lead. Into the front court is Joe Stever. He is fouled, I believe, by Omar Gomez crossing the timeline. Gomez with his first foul. It's Gomez, Harris, Ely, Spooner, and Tedford for Brush. Sterkle, Long, Joey Jackson has... See who that is into the game. Jacob Seaton. I believe uh, Andy Allen out there in the right corner. Joey Jackson with the basketball down low for Stever. However, it's missed and picked away by Jacob Seaton, and he misses in a foul. That was a mess down there and up here. Seaton went over the back as Chris Ely went for the rebound. And that's the 14th foul by the Huskies. Sopris, Lynch, and Landon Doyle getting ready to check in. On the outside left, Ely with the basketball. On the left corner for Spooner. Looking down low, back out to Ely towards the top of the key. Right wing to Gomez. Left wing, wide open, Ely three. Good for Chris Ely. And the beat diggers lead by 25. Ely's first points of the game. It's 45-20. to 20. Trahan in the backcourt. Over to Joey Jackson, dribbling right baseline. He ran right into Zepp Tetzler. Four charges taken by the Beat Diggers tonight, and Joey Jackson has committed four personals. Yeah, I don't think Winston Harris is going to play much in the fourth quarter. And I don't know if Jared Spooner will either. I think head coach Dan Kennedy will have his bench out there, considering the Beat Diggers have a big lead, and they played last night. But we're still three minutes and 55 seconds away from ending the third. Doyle, Tedford, Harris, Sopris, and Lynch now for Brush. In the left corner, Tedford with a basketball pulling up from seven. Going off the window. He drove by a defender and found a seam. All of a sudden, Tedford has six points all in this quarter. Brush now leads by 27. Trahan the other way. Jump pass off the hands into Long. Ten-footer around. No good. And the ball is rebounded by Winston Harris. He's tied up by Jared Sterkle. Possession arrow stays with the Huskies, but that is rebound number 16 for Harris. And Brush now on a 24-4 run, dating back to the second quarter. On the outside right, Jorge Banuelos in the right corner, long. The long three is up and no good, no pun intended. And we've got a whistle away from the ball. I believe it's a Husky foul. Jason Trahan pushing off. That's the 15 foul, and Trahan's third personal. So Sopris will take it across the timeline for the beat diggers. They are freezing in alt. 47 to 20. So precipitate top, dribbling to his right, right corner for Harris. Harris back to his left, cross court for Lynch in the high left. Lynch over to Sopris. 
Sofers top of the key, left wing for Lynch, pulls up for a three, that's off to the right. Harris has got the rebound on the right baseline. Harris cross court for Tedford down low for Lynch, his shot is up no good. Joey Jackson has the rebound for Highland. Across mid court is Banuelos at the free throw on left corner, long three pointer off to the right. The rebound by Tinkton, I believe he's fouled on the floor. And the beat digger foul committed by Tedford. That'll be his second. For financial needs, think none other than Okuson and Associates, 842-5722. Okuson and Associates, an outstanding sponsor of Beat Digger Sports. And next door, wash your vehicle at the corner car wash. Banielos down low for Seaton, missed the shot, partially blocked, taken away by Allen. Seaton with a hook shot off the glass. That's a brick. And Landon Doyle with a rebound. And we've got a whistle and a deflection, I believe, in the backcourt. Not going to bounce. Beat Digger's. Retained possession. And here we go with Silver. Send to the front court for Brush. In the left corner for Spooner, checking back in to Tedford, who's got six points in the quarter. Now to Spooner. Cross court for Lynch. In the right corner for Tedford. Holding the ball up high. The Silver's left wing, dribbling left baseline, pulling up from 12. That's an air ball. Tedford tips the ball to Landon Doyle. Doyle in the lane to Spooner. Puts it up and in. He packs it in. What an assist by Landon Doyle. An outstanding play to allow Spooner to score. Rush now leading 49-20. to 20. And we've got a whistle, and I believe an offensive foul on the Huskies. Yeah, they're getting a little bit frustrated here. That was Jacob Seaton. I've got him for his fourth. This was a competitive game at one point. Now, I'm not talking about the first two minutes. It was 23-16 to 16 late in the second quarter. Since then, the Bee Diggers have outscored Highland 26 to 4. Lynch with a basketball for Brush up top to Nick Sopers. Bounce pass to Lynch in the right corner for Tedford. Guarded over there by Joey Jackson. Right base by Footer. Inside pass is intercepted. Taken away by Nuelos. And the layup up and in. Blocking foul. And Andy Allen to the line. Kyle Lynch with a Bee Digger foul. And believe it or not, just the third and fourth points for the Huskies in the quarter. They went scoreless for the first three minutes and ten seconds, then went scoreless for another three minutes. Free throws around and good for Allen. His first points of the game, but it's a 26-point deficit for Highland with a minute 24 to go before the end of the third. Jared Spooner in the right corner for Zepp Tedford, right baseline out of Lynch, double team back out to Spooner, swings it over. On the left wing to Sopras. Sopras at the free line to Spooner. Right wing three is up and off to the left. Jorge Banuelos has the board for Hunter. Long pass to Joey Jackson. Layup up and in off the glass. Jackson now with six. Highland has scored the last five points, but they need a lot more. It's 49-25 rush. 52 seconds to go. Spooner runner in the lane is around no good. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Landon Doyle, I believe, went over the back for Brush. It'll be his first team's fourth. Highland has committed 17 fouls, so Bay Diggers will be shooting free throws for the final eight minutes and 45 seconds of the game. Jason Trahan on the left baseline. Pass is intercepted down low for Kyle Lynch. Ahead to Spooner. It'll be an easy layup for Jared Spooner. Kyle Lynch with the assist. Highland with their ninth turnover. Trahan into the front court. Beat Diggers up 51-25. 25 seconds to go. The three-pointer by Allen. Blocked by Lynch. Taken away by Sopras. Sopras to Lynch. Lynch now will spin with 17 seconds to go. He was stripped by Trahan, but Trahan dribbled on the baseline. No turnover. And Brush will have an opportunity to score once more. A 26-point advantage. They've been up by as many as 29. With 12 seconds to go. In the third, Sopras on the outside right with a bounce pass to Spooner. Right corner for Lynch. Lynch with six. Cross court to Sopras with four. Sopras bounce pass to Doyle with two. Fades from ten. Air ball. And the ball's out of bounds. The quarter is history. The Bay Diggers once again with a very impressive quarter. Outscoring Highland 16-7. to They lead 51-25 after three on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. 